Hey everyone, it's John Schoenhorst. You may have trouble believing this, but I'm about to go on a date. She's sitting in my living room right now. I met her on my chase. She's in there, and I think she's ready to meet me. May I first start by saying you're very attractive. Really? I think you're gorgeous. I really appreciated your MySpace, your MyFace page. Some of your profile pictures were provocative, but I also thought you looked intelligent. You're really sweet. I think you're sweet too. Well, you are. You're sweet. Your profile says that you're really strong and masculine, and I just... I think you should tell people that you're sweet, because you are. You have big hands! You can hold my entire face in them! Mm -hmm. I think you smell really fresh. Once I got stuck in a honeybee jar and I almost died, my mother had to use my swim trunks to pull me out. One time my mother told me that horses are made of sand and that we shouldn't get near them because the apocalypse is coming. You have a really nice view. Is that, is that the park? Yes, that is the park. Wow, there are trees in there. I like trees. They remind me of being naked. You have really beautiful eyes. Could you excuse me? I need to do something. Oh, okay. I'll be here. So I think our interview is going pretty well and I'm pretty sure she wants to marry me. She's also quite a looker and I really enjoy her smell and fragrance. But I realized that my manscape is really in bad territory and I need to make sure because she's quite provocative and I think she might want to make sex with me. So let's go take care of ourselves. I really think she's quite pretty and I hope she wants to marry me too. But first, it's very important because we could wind up tangled together if our pubic legions are too close together. So here we are in my bathroom. Let's just make sure before we begin we have all the correct tools and nomenclatures. That's a scissor. That's a razor blade. That's a... Forkish toothbrush. That's a comb. So, here we are in the bathtub. It's incredibly important to have your shears and stand in the bathtub so you don't get loose hairs everywhere. You just want to trim a bit at first. You know, throw it in the drain. You don't want it to get everywhere. And keep your voice down. You don't want her to hear you. Wow, I really did need a haircut. God, she's so sweet and adorable. I hope she really enjoys me too. A little bit more. Sing the song of yesterday, get rid of the hair and you'll be gay. So, as we get continue to get closer to the shaft, it's very... Oh. oh, I seem to have nicked myself a little bit. I really did. I, I got myself pretty horribly. I wish one of you was here to help me. I can't possibly go out there. I don't know what to do. <laughs> subsided temporarily and um, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I know I did. I think I'm going to meet a wife. Perhaps I won't ever do that again. And I, this is me, Jan Chanos, hoping you well.